I'm back. This is part two of dating a Virgo woman. First of all, you gotta check out the earrings. I'm all about love. As Valentine's Day is approaching, I'm giving love vibes. Sending, sending love vibes through my earrings to you guys, okay? Virgo women, we love our space. We're one of the few signs that actually enjoy our own company. In relationships and when dating a Virgo, they don't mind alone time. We don't mind being in the same house with you, you on the top floor and me on the bottom. It's okay. We know we love each other, we're good. We don't feel the need to be on top of each other. We're not extra clingy. We just like to know you're there, but we don't need you sitting on our laps. The Virgo woman is very moody. I'm letting out all my secrets, I know, I know, I know. My bad. We tend to be on the moody side. We're great people, however, one minute, we might be in a great mood, but all it takes is one situation, one instance, one thing to go wrong, and just like that, we're in a bad mood. We're aware of this, because we like routine, when we're thrown off of our routine, or something changes, or something isn't done right, we can go zero to 100 real quick. When dating a Virgo woman, I just want you to know that they can be a little moody. And I mean, women in general are moody. Sometimes we're a little bit more moody than the average. Ah, oh, hell. Some people would call it bipolar. My kids used to joke about that and say I'm bipolar. It wasn't that, it was I was okay until I came downstairs and saw dishes weren't washed, clothes not folded, your broom is dirty. When dating a Virgo woman, if you're a person for a lot of PDA, public displays of affection, just know that we may not be. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind holding your hand in public, I don't mind hugging and, but you won't, you won't find us doing all the extra stuff. We'll, we'll be the ones like, can you get a room? We're affectionate, but we're not gonna do too much. We don't wanna make other people uncomfortable with our love. We do like affection, just know we're not overly affectionate. Personal hygiene is very, very important to a Virgo. Cleanliness is next to godliness. We like you to smell good. Be clean. Make sure your ears are clean. I wanna see a wax build up. No dirt under the fingernails. Really do watch those things. Okay, so this might be a tough one. Sorry, Virgos. I'm one too. I'm just trying to get people to understand us just a little bit better. A lot of Virgos have trust issues. Am I wrong? We have trust issues because this goes with our cautiousness. He will see a red flag and haul ass. It's hard for us to trust people. So in a relationship with a Virgo, when you're dating a Virgo, you have to know you have to have the patience of a teacher times a million. And we have trust issues because a lot of us have been through a lot of things that we vow to never ever repeat again. But they want that guard to come down. They want it to be the right person. We're spoiled. We're spoiled with how we treat ourselves. So when we get in a relationship, if you're gonna date a Virgo, you need to know that they like gifts, quality time, words of affirmation, physical touch. A lot of Virgos like a lot of physical. They nasty. Why would I bring you in my life and go backwards when I was okay by myself? Virgos don't really like to hear no. Part of that spoil thing. A no for us can sometimes mean maybe later, but yes, tomorrow. Well, I'll just get it myself. I mean, we know we're gonna have to hear no sometimes, but I'm not gonna lie and say we act okay all the time when we hear no's. Virgos can be a little possessive. What's ours is ours. I don't know if it's possessive or territorial. The good side is we're real loyal once we kind of possess you. Oh, that sounds bad. We're kind of stingy. Mine. My man. Mine, 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 mine. I don't know what else to say about that. Ugh. And the last thing, when dating a Virgo, you need to know, generally we're not the ones that's gonna host a party with 300 people at our house because we don't really like a lot of people at the house. We don't like being around people but for so long. We see home as Relaxing, calm, peaceful, warm, secure, quiet, unless you have kids, sort of not. It's just the type of security in our homes. 
we don't have a lot of company. It's so much preparation for us and so much thought that goes into events and gatherings and socials that we just rather not. We don't see our home as a party spot, but we'll go to somebody else's. So when you're dating a Virgo, you need to, to know that. Okay guys, it's me Godiva Empress. I hope you have a very, very happy, happy Valentine's Day. I think I'm gonna be treating myself pretty darn good this Valentine's Day. Now y'all know I could have a Valentine if I wanted one. This is by choice, I need to be by myself. It's Godiva Empress. Like, comment, subscribe. Much love, bye, love y'all. Peace.